up until now, this has pretty much been my computer system that I've done my video. Actually, that's not even true. I've done my videos on first an iPhone X and then an iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now we're on an iPhone 14 Pro Max. But I mean, essentially, I got a PC there that I can access, Photoshop, things like that. And then I've got a 27-inch Asus monitor. But that's all about the change. So I'm super jazzed about this inside this box with the infamous pull tab. What could it be, huh? What could it be? This is how you package something. It's really nice. It's suspended. It's not going anywhere. Take note, a lot of people out there. M2 Mac Mini. Let's unbox it, check it out. Well, much like all other Apple, we have the uh, pull tabs. Wow, that's hefty. I did not expect that. It's aluminum. It's very cold right now. It's very, very slick. And this is the base model M2. It's not the M2 Max. So you got your power connections. You got your ethernet port, you've got a couple fire, um, oh, what do they call them? Thunder, Thunderbolt connectors. You got an HDMI connector, you got a headphone jack, and what is this? Oh, <laughs> you got some US, USB A ports. Um, so let's check out, let's see, we got that, and Apple, I'm sure there's their. Yeah, the Mac Mini. Oh, nice sticker, huh? I dig those. And that's it, power connection. This is the device that you provide your own monitor, mouse, keyboard, and off you go. It's the most entry-level Mac you can get. But when Apple redesigned this and they dropped it last week, it came out at $599, which was $100 less than the original 2019-20 model. It came out at $699, $100 less. This one, actually, with an educational discount, you can start them out at $499, which is an incredible deal on these computers. So, as I previously said, my PC setup is what I was using. But re realistically, I was using an iPhone for all my videos prior to this. This video, when after I'm done shooting and processing it, should be delivered on the little Mac here. So let's check out the accessories. Okay, next up we have the MX Master 3S for the Mac. This is packaged. Wow. Packaging, it feels very Apple-esque. Nice. As you'll see, my other mouse it's a slightly different version. It's also a Logitech. It's not quite as hefty as the, this new one is. Give you a little side-by-side -side comparison. You can just see like right here, the ergonomics of it, it's just, it's nice. I mean, it's really nice. The other mouse does the same thing. You've got a button here that you can click that allows it to either be individual scroll or just wrap it. You click it and just free, like right now it's free wheeling. Um, you got, but this one can do side scrolling, which is really cool. So you can go horizontally on a page. That's pretty awesome. You take this guy, peel that off. This comes in there too. A little bit of info. Got our charging cord. So we'll get that thing charging and we'll get a little bit of instructions here and then we'll get started on the keyboard. 
Next, we have the MX keys for the Mac. So I'll just require a little slice. And another quick little slice. Wow, nice. That's pretty cool. It's very Apple-esque, the way this thing is done. Wow, yes. Very Apple-esque. Oh, that's heavy. It's got some heft to it. That's nice. Like Christmas all over again. Oh, those are nice keys. Oh, I like that. Very, very nice. Let's see. We got a little bit of a little bit of direction here. And imagine this is probably oh got a little uh, receiver piece. That receiver is going to be compatible with the mouse. Also, I know that they um, they upgrade or they they changed them because I saw one that was for sale that it was for sale separately. So I'm wondering if uh, Logitech's gone through the old Apple method of selling everything individually again. I hope not. I hope they stuck with their core value on it. But and another USB-C charge piece. So this is pretty cool. Let's get this set up. Well, we've got the mouse set up with the USB-C through the Thunder port, Thunderbolt port, and we've got the MX Master's key, or the keyboard set up through the Thunderbolt port, so I'm getting a little charge on them, or they will be. So I'm going to go ahead and shut down the PC. I'm still going to keep it because I'll need it for doing stuff like doing the Holly software tuning and whatnot because you can't run that on a Mac. Bummer, but... um. So we'll go ahead and shut this down and let's fire up the Mac minis, see what we got. This is absolutely mind blowing. <laughs> I've not used an Apple computer in, okay, God, about 37 years. And they're radically different than when I was using a brand new state of the art Apple IIe. The things. Move around the screen to move the voiceover cursor. Things. Talking me through it, how to set it up. Wild. Okay, this is a new low even for Amazon. This is literally how they sent this hub. There it goes. Okay, so, wow. Well, oh, that's pretty nice. Okay. So inside here, it's... Um, it's patterned after the Mac Mini. Okay, after much screwing around, I got it out. So, anyways, it comes like this. There's a little drive door, little door down here for um, an M.2. So, we'll take a look. Let's we'll see what else. What else we got in here? Uh, a little instruction manual. Crappy plastic. So, okay, so I've got a Western Digital Blue. It's a two terabyte um, M.2. So, we'll get this guy. It's right here. It just comes out. Yeah. There we go. There's that. Okay, so that goes there, and then they include a little screw. Let me take this guy and tighten it up there. It's 
mount that back in. This guy comes out and we set it up on the Mac. Okay, so the benefit of this is you got the card readers, you got a headphone jack, you get three USB A's and one USB C, all from, I'm going to plug this into my Thunderbolt 4 in the back. So, oh, and you get the um, SSD, the M.2 SSD inside of it. So, pick up two terabytes of storage, and go with the half terabyte that I have on the Mac Mini. Be a good start. And there it is. I think it's a pretty attractive looking piece. And blends pretty nicely. Okay, so we fire it up and it says that the disk wasn't readable by this computer. So I'm going to take it down here and go to initialize. Select this one. Make sure I didn't initialize my Mac hard drive. Okay, we're going to call this. This will be the um, WD M2 SSD. And you have different, you have the Apple file format, the case sensitive, or the Mac. We're just going to go with the Apple file format. And let's see. Brace. Okay. It's formatting it. Asking me, so I guess I do. And now Time Machine set up to back up onto this also. Works good. Okay, well, it took me a little longer than I anticipated. I'm a little sick right now. Um, but I'm blown away with this thing. I love it. It's incredible. Final Cut took me a little bit longer than I anticipated to learn, but... Um, there are some really, there's some really good tutorials out there. Two people that I got a lot from were Dylan Bates, the Final Cut Bro, and Jen Jager. Both of them excellent, excellent instructors. They've got some great um, lessons online, <clears throat> different videos, different ways of doing tricks to it. It's good stuff if you want to learn something. I'm just delving into this. I'm enjoying it more. Every time I use it, I'm learning more every time I use it. And I can't wait to get back into making my more traditional Pontiac videos. And I have some good ones on the way. So I know you're like Pontiacs. Well, that's mainly the thing I do is old muscle cars. But I wanted to show off this uh, M2 because I was really proud of it. So anyways, thanks for watching. Um, please like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.